Hello, this is Marie. Thank you for liking and subscribing below. I'd like to talk to you about the issues in your life, the things you wish would change or had never happened, you wish were different, because they're actually here at the perfect moment in your life, at the perfect uh, opportunity in, in your life so that you can actually heal previous lifetime experiences. So anything that's happening in your life historically or now that is problematic, it was actually created by the universe to help you grow beyond it. All of the things that we think are problematic from this lifetime are actually about previous lifetimes. So let's say, for example, let's say that in this lifetime, you didn't have a great childhood, which if that's true for you, I'm very sorry. Um, let's say that your childhood kind of sucked. Maybe your parents weren't great for you or you felt abandoned or something terrible happened, let's just say. If that indeed happened, I want you to know that in more than one previous lifetime, your childhood was worse. The experiences were more terrifying, more difficult. And because you're now in this lifetime, you're currently in the 21st century, the more you, you blame your current life experiences, so the more that you look at your childhood and complain about it, or think that it was terrible or a mistake, or you never really wanted those parents or whatever you think happened, that needs to stop immediately. Here's another example. Let's say that you've had challenges with wealth in this lifetime and you're annoyed and you're frustrated and you're looking at all the problems from this lifetime regarding wealth and you wish they would go away. You're blaming the people or the economy or the way the capitalist system runs, depending on what country you live in, from this current lifetime. And I promise you, anything that you're working on that is especially something that's really highlighted for you in your life that you've been working on for a while, it really has very little to do with the current life experiences you've had. It's really about your past life experiences that were 10 times more challenging, difficult, more heartbreaking, not what you would want to experience, but you're working on healing those emotions so that you will come from a different vibrational perspective in this current lifetime. So even though it may feel like, regardless of what the situation is that you wish had never happened and you keep thinking about it and trying to change it, you need to recognize that it's better than what happened in a previous lifetime and potentially many lifetimes. And if you can stop blaming this lifetime, these parents, this economy, uh, this government, if you can stop doing that, you are going to have much more success in resolving the previous lifetime situation. So the first thing I want you to start to do is to adopt a new thought process. Instead of being, Ugh, if only my parents were more responsible, or if my dad hadn't married my mom, or if, you know, fill in the blank, um, or if, if only my parents had made better intelligent choices with their finances, I would have been better prepared to make better choices with my finances, or if only I had finished this degree in college, or whatever you think is the problem from this lifetime, I want you to stop harping on it. I want you to stop complaining about it. I want you to stop thinking about it in the way that you have been, because it's really not about those things. It's really about healing the previous situations that you don't know about, you don't know them. You, most people do not remember their past lives. You certainly could if you wanted to. In fact, we're gonna do an exercise in a moment so that you can get the necessary information about a previous lifetime that is in your highest good because you don't necessarily have to know the whole story, but maybe the snippets. And one of the beautiful things that happens after a lifetime has been completed, or sometimes during a lifetime, we have aha moments, we get conclusions, we kind of bring information together, uh, our spirit does after the lifetime. And sometimes our conscious humanness um, gets a big aha moment during a life crisis or when it's finally been resolved in some way. And that's the information that's actually still in your cells. If you're still complaining about stuff that happened in this lifetime and you're not able to appreciate the fact that you're actually healing something from the past. And that's why it somehow came up in this lifetime 
in a better way, even though it may not feel that way, but I promise you it's better than it was before that if you can start to appreciate, like one of my favorite what if questions is, what if my childhood was exactly the way I wanted it to be? Meaning that your higher self wanted it to be that way. What if my marriages were exactly the way I wanted them to be from a higher perspective? What if my finances are exactly the way my higher self wanted it to be? I want you to start to see the benefit of the things that you think in your life are not beneficial so that we can let out the cellular memory that's really intelligent, that's already gone through something like what you're going through in this lifetime, but worse, and it can give you incredible genius solutions so that you don't keep creating it. Because it, even though it's better in this lifetime, we want it to go away. We want you to have a completely opposite experience where you feel loved, adored, cherished, healthy, wealthy, worthy, deserving, all of those things. We don't want past lifetimes and the knowledge that you gain from those experiences to be hidden in your body. And if you stop complaining about the things that you have every logical right to complain about, you're going to start to allow the information that's in your cells, the genius from the previous lifetimes that you had to ooze out of your cells and start to inspire you with a different understanding of these experiences that you're disappointed about, right? And disappointment can be a pattern. In fact, I see lots of family energy and disappointment. That means generations and generations will feel disappointed about things that are very beneficial for them. Although they don't look at it that way because they assume that everything was perfect before they landed in their family or everything was perfect before they got married or that everything was perfect before they went to college or everything was perfect before they got their first job. But no, you have all this history from these previous lifetimes that are going to feel familiar. The button pushing is going to feel familiar. But if you can value and appreciate what has already happened in this lifetime as something helping you to heal versus break you down and make you a victim in some way, then that information in your cells, the genius, it might even show you how lucky you have been in this lifetime and that you were able to enhance the experience from a different vibration, a higher frequency than you've had in a previous lifetime. And so that it's actually so much more better. Wouldn't that feel wonderful if you allowed that to circulate in your body? So let's do a little exercise. If you happen to be listening to this, um, driving, don't, don't do this exercise, but you get home and do this part of the exercise. So maybe turn off phones. Charles might crash into this office though. I can hear him outside my door, pushing on the door a little bit. Um, I want you to go ahead and close your eyes and with your eyes closed, I'd love for you to rotate your eyeballs upward as if you're trying to look into your eyebrows or the ceiling above your head. Go ahead and take beautiful belly breaths, just gorgeous, beautiful belly breaths, relaxing the belly, creating a Buddha belly, taking beautiful breaths into the belly. And I want you, as you're doing this, we'll just keep the eyeballs up for a few more moments. I want you to realize that you're way more than any of the experiences you've had in this lifetime. And that this lifetime is actually really special and powerful, helping you to heal previous perceptions so that you can have a different outcome in areas that you wish to be more favorable. And now you can relax your eyeballs. They can be anywhere underneath your eyelids. And I want you to go inward in your body as if there's a beautiful camera being released from the top of the inside of your brain. And that camera almost as if a camera is being released into the ocean from a boat and it's submerging itself deep into the dark waters. I want you to imagine where you see it, hear it, or feel it. Please somehow imagine that this camera, it could be tiny, it could be bigger, is moving deep into your body. So it's moved through the brain and through the cervical vertebrae, your neck structure. And now it's circulating throughout the rest of your body as if it's shining light through its lens into all of the crevices of the inside of your body. You can see or hear or feel the light moving through your fingertips, through your spine, 
through all the muscles in your back and your chest area, throughout your tummy, your glutes, your reproductive area, all the necessary organs, but really seeing it moving through your tissues and your muscles, ligaments and tendons, all the way down through your toes, just highlighting internal organs and tissues and bones. That's very good. Whether you see this, hear it, or feel it is perfect. You're imagining it, you're allowing it to happen, which means that it actually is happening. You're a lot more powerful than you probably give yourself credit. Good. And in this moment, we're just going to ask, you can ask it silently or out loud, you're gonna ask your higher self, and, and I want you to always consider when you're asking a question about anything that you are asking your higher self, which is really your God consciousness, your source wisdom, your genius, magnificence aspect of yourself. We only bring portions of our whole being into a physical world incarnation. So now we're talking to the bigger piece of you that lives outside of this human reality. And I want you to simply ask out loud, please express to me, your higher self, please express to me whatever's in my highest good about past life learning. Please express to me whatever's in my highest good about past life learning. And then I want you to let go of the question. That means you need to distract yourself. I have my hands on my knees. And so I'm just gonna gently put a little pressure around my knee, just to distract myself. I'm feeling heat from my fingertips and I'm noticing my posture slightly shift, just the gentle of, of pressure. You wanna go deeper into your body, into physical structures to distract yourself. That's a keen way of doing it. I'm also wiggling my toes at the same time, just to distract myself. You want to sit here for a few minutes while you allow the universe, your higher self, to give you the perfect information. And I want you to trust it. It may not seem super obvious. It's going to be calm, relaxed, compassionate, not full of drama or fear. Take some deep breaths while you do that. And once you get some information, you're going to write it down when we're done. But I want you to thank your higher self. Say, thank you for this information. I'm so grateful for our consistent, accurate communication. Thank you so much. I want you to start talking to your higher self in a way of how you want the relationship to be and how it really is. But the only thing we're learning to convince is your logical mind. You can slowly open your eyes and come back to this present moment. And I would love for you to tell yourself throughout the day, as your mind will inevitably go back to historical things that are done and over with, but you're going to complain about it, be annoyed, frustrated, which drops your energy and doesn't allow you to be in that receptive place. And I want you to say to yourself out loud or silently, what if my childhood was exactly the way I wanted it to be? Because that's a win-win. If you have an experience that your higher self wanted you to have, you know it was good, necessary, powerful, healing, not all the other things that your mind tells you that it was. Hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.